it's always an early morning start when you're onto the screws. Now I came here a few weeks ago, managed to get 13. Hitting this feeder again, there's still a few peanuts in the feeder. Trail cam assured there are still a few about. So this is just my little journey from the field over the gate into the woods to where my feeder is. It's about 100 yards. So here we are at the feeder. Peanuts are still in. We're going to see what we can get. And just behind me is where I'm going to plunk myself down and get comfy into my hide. That's the rifle loaded with pellets. Now all we need to do is just play the waiting game. This morning the screws are really going to test my patience. As you will see. Now the sunlight's coming through because we are into the summer months. Our first visitor has come in. Usually they come from down the tree, but for some reason they're coming from my left this morning. This one just seems to be playing around a bit, not quite sure what its intentions are. But, for whatever reason, it decides to run off at this point. And then I have to wait. But about 2-3 minutes later, I imagine this is the same squirrel which has disappeared not so long ago this time it looks like the squirrel seems to be edging closer towards the feeder not 100% sure if it's ever been to this feeder before this might be its first time you can certainly smell what's inside and it's not 100% sure how this feeder works There you go, let's figure it out. Just saw a little bit of movement up in the trees, just over to my right. This one comes flying in. So I thought, here we go. But now it decides just to mess around a little bit. Not quite sure what its plan of action is. And now it seems to be inspecting the dead one on the floor. But now it's more interested in getting its breakfast. So it's up on top of the feeder. And we're going to see if this one knows what to do. So that was our second one down. Then I just noticed that this squirrel was actually on its way to leaving. I think the reason for that was I happened to have my cup of tea in my hand at the time and I just lifted up my arm. So I'm assuming it's just seen me move about in my hide and it's put that one off. But not to matter because we've got our third one coming in. Just had a little inspection of one of the dead ones already on the ground. Doesn't seem too nervous, it's just having a little look around. But it's on the feeder, and that is where I want it. So we're hoping it's not going to mess me around too much. And then, again, don't know why, decides to leave the feeder and run up onto the tree. So I think at this point he's trying to make a break for it. So I'll put a stop to it. Uh, 
immediately after taking that shot there was another squirrel in the area started barking making a lot of noise now this squirrel's really high up just in front of me at a very steep angle that I can't get at it but it doesn't matter because it's run away and not long after that another squirrel appears and this one again is coming to inspect the same squirrel as before this one's going to be getting more of a thorough inspection really having a good look good feel investigating hard I'd say but it shouldn't get in the way of breakfast so now it looks like it's heading up that way towards the feeder just need to plant itself onto that feeder with a nut to give myself an opportunity Again, still looking down at one of the dead bodies just at the bottom of the tree trunk. And like I said at the beginning of the video, really testing my patience this morning. Very fidgety, they just don't seem to be committing. This one looks like it's making a break for it. And I made sure it didn't. Just check out the eye juice on this one. exactly where the crosshair was pointing that's exactly where the pellet went we've had four down in quick succession within an hour and then a guy on a quad has just been down disturbed everything because they're putting the pheasants into the uh, pheasant pens today which i didn't know so he's disturbed everything but he's going to be back in an hour so we're going to see if we can get one more and this session's going to be cut cut short this morning unfortunately we'll try to get the one so I've been given my one hour time limit to see if I can get one more. Luckily I've noticed some movement again up above me in the trees. This one seems to be steaming in. It knows exactly where it wants to go. This is a route I see them take quite often, jumping across the top of the branches. Unfortunately, it then gets to this point and it stays there for about four minutes. And then that's when I notice there is another squirrel coming in on the ground. So now I'm focusing more to this squirrel, because the other squirrel has been frozen. I've been out at this point and just cleared up those four squirrels. Now it looks as if the frozen one is coming into play. This could be a battle of dominance. They didn't really see much of eye to eye there. One of them's made a run for it now. Which just leaves this one, which is now settled nicely, staying still, so I take my opportunity. And I think that's where I'm going to leave it. Only managed the five, could have got more, but we're going to try again tomorrow. Luckily managed to get one more, just a quick session this morning because I got interrupted because they're about to put the pheasants into this pheasant pen here. So going to go shoot tomorrow morning on my other feeder and we're going to see how that goes. As you can see, still very early. Camera's struggling a little bit with the light. We've got a nice early morning scroll. This one was just straight into the feeder and bang, straight off. Not long after that, 
another one comes along and you can still see that it is pretty dark in this part of the woods. This morning didn't pan out as well as I expected it to. It was certainly not what I was expecting. But, second one here, just straight into the feeder again. And we've got our second with another clean headshot. A lot of time has passed. You can see the amount of light that's now entering the wood. Nothing else really appeared after that. So I decide just to call it quits at that. Pack everything away. I'm going to leave it at that. So we got five yesterday and got two this morning. Very quiet on this feeder this morning, but there were a few squirrels which were running around. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to leave this until winter. That's when I'll shoot it next and my other feeder because I think there's enough food about, so they're not really too interested in the peanuts or they just haven't found it, but I think they know that feed is there but they're fully stocked up on food throughout the whole of the wood so we'll come back in winter and see how we do then